Let's take a look at Apple. So I'm going to be pretty much going through all of the big mega cap stocks. So if you guys want to possibly uh, see a video on a stock that you guys are looking to trade, drop me a comment. Let me know what stock that is, and I'll try to do a video on it. But a lot of these tech stocks, a lot of the stocks in the NASDAQ 100, are going to look the same. So if you start doing your homework tonight and you start noticing, you know, that, hey, look at the candle on today's uh, uh, daily close. A lot of stocks put in this big green hammer candle. We came down all the way to lows of 154.67 on Apple. We closed at 161.62, currently trading at around 160 in the after hour session. With that being said, we came all the way down here to this channel at around 155.62 and just came shy of the 150 day simple moving average. So we did reclaim the 100 and we also reclaimed uh, the EMA as well. So with that being said, we are stepping stones away from uh, getting back up to this uh, declining five day moving average. So if we wanna see Apple get a little bit more bullish, we're gonna re need Reclose over 164.89. 165 would be a lot stronger of a move. With that being said, here's what you're looking for going into tomorrow. Make it very, very simple. Take out today's highs at 162.36. That's your area of entry to get long. What are you going to use as your stop? You're going to want to use this 100 EMA. Uh, use that as your absolute stop here, 160.40. You can kind of play around with that area, 160-ish, depending on how much risk you want to put on, 162.36 to the long side. You're going to pretty much be in this trade until we hit 164, 165, or reclaim above the five-day moving average. Obviously, we have our new line in the sand here down at 154.67 on Apple. And that this 150 simple moving average is going to be 153. So anything above 153 is going to be bullish. But if you if you like so if you want to put on a bit of a, a longer term play, maybe a swing play, this is a lot of risk to put on here from 154 all the way up to 162. You're putting on a, about an eight point risk. You're going to kind of want to manage that. We're going to want to see a little bit of a more of a bounce, a push maybe into the five day moving average, perhaps into 167. And then we want to see a back test. When we get that back test and we get that next pullback, can we hold this 154, 155? If so, that's an entirely bullish. We could be setting up to move higher. But if we lose this level, then, you know, you're going to you're going to be appreciative of not getting in um, and trying to swing this at this upper level down here because potentially you can get this at a little bit of a cheaper price 147 149 but i'm just speaking to day traders day traders and, and scalpers 162 36 let's make some money tomorrow we got about two points three points worth of upside before we need to kind of manage our trade take our profits and obviously to the downside if we do lose the 100 um or the 150 um the ema or the SMA, then you know we can kind of just get out of that trade. The low on the body of this is 160, so you could actually give yourself that 160 stop break even price on this, kind of ride this out uh, and see it. do we take out tomorrow's highs of 162.36. Guys, I hope that helps. Congratulations to everyone who caught the bounce at the end of today's session. And moreover, if you're able to watch this video and you can and comment on this video and you can subscribe on this video and you can join the Discord, be appreciative for that, guys. Your health overall is everything, okay? That includes physical and mental health. So with that being said, I know we get tied up a lot of times. We stress ourselves out. You know, we're always trying to find out how to make more money, how not to lose money. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? We don't take the time to actually breathe. We don't take the time to actually, um, you know, take care of ourselves, our mind, as well as our physical. Get out, go for a walk, do some exercise, go to the gym, do some yoga, uh, take your dogs for a walk, kind of just decompress, okay? Decompress at the end of the day. Um, make sure you guys are eating right exercising, stretching, managing your stress levels, especially in times like this where the market is up and it's down and it's up and it's down. It could kind of just throw our emotions all over the place. Um, you know, so all in all, if you're healthy and you're able to watch this video, that all in all is more so of, you know, a luxury than, than actually making money. So until next time, guys, I will see you guys all on the next video.